to be another DJ Burtu Mix Drink How To. That's right, guys. The hard look is out and the tasty ingredients, too. So you know the wife must have behaved herself yet again. So it's time for me to make another lovely libation for her to pour down her neck. And what libation are we going to provide her this evening? Well, none other than a Cadillac margarita. Now you're saying, DJ, why is this called a Cadillac margarita? Because we have spared no expense on the ingredients tonight. We're using drop drawer stuff. That's right. What are we using for our top drawer ingredients? We're only four. Well, six if you want to count the salt lights. But four main ingredients. We are using Añejo tequila, you know, barrel age, at least three years. I think that's what it is. Añejo, awesome, top shelf, delicious tequila. Also, we're using Grand Marnier, which is orange liqueur that has been blended with cognac. In this case, I'm using a product called Grand Imperial that comes from Total Wine. And the reason I'm using it is because it has a higher, I think, cognac profile, less sweetness, and it, the orange presence, I think, is a bit bigger in this. That's why I like this product. It's also 12 to $15 a bottle cheaper than Grand Marnier. You're paying for the brand name. Also, what are we gonna use in this Cadillac Margarita? We're gonna use lime juice and a lemon juice combo. So, let's get at it, mixing this drink up for the lady. So, first we have 1.5 ounce to two ounces of Añejo Tequila. I'm using two ounces. That's how we roll around here at DJ Brew Dude. Next up, no waste any of that, of course not. We are going to use an ounce and a half of our Grand Imperial Cognac Blended Orange Liqueur. And last but not least, in this glass we have blended half an ounce of lime juice, fresh, and half an ounce of fresh lemon juice. The reason I put the lemon juice in there is because it's a little bit less tart than the lime, but that lemon-lime balance I really dig, especially with the orange and the smoky notes that come out of that Añejo tequila. So we're gonna put it in here. You're noticing I'm not putting any sweetening agents in here. That is not necessary when you build a quality drink, and there's plenty of sweetness in that Grand Marnier to go around. I already have a bit of ice in there, but I wanted to add a little more. So now you know what we gotta do around here. We gotta get our shake face on. We're making somebody a drink. Time to get happy. Let's have at it. Boom. Gave it a nice vigorous shake. About a 15 count there. We have our pre-salted glass that's been chilling. We're gonna dump out our excess ice. We're gonna put a little fresh in here because this is gonna be a margarita on the rocks. We don't need a ton of ice. Now we're gonna strain it into our glass and let's see what gorgeous we have coming out here. Look at that. Hell yes. Man, mm mm mm. Yes, this is gonna taste freaking delicious. Nothing like using top ingredients and making a drink that counts. Now if you want to make this look pretty, we can garnish it with some lime wheel, but I'm going to give it a taste first before we put the foo-foo on there. Let's get a smell. Mm, lovely orange coming from that, that Grand Imperial. After that, that lemon and lime combo hits you with those beautiful like backup citrus notes, the smokiness, and the oak character, and the little bit of like vanillin coming from that Añejo tequila comes out at the same time. It's sweet, it's balanced, there's a tart aroma in there. Damn, I'm diving in. Cheers, salute. Man, that is way, way too easy to drink, guys. Let's garnish this up for you, make it look pretty. There you have it, the Cadillac Margarita. Super simple, easy to make, top drawer ingredients, make top drawer taste. And remember, when it tastes great, they bitch less. Hell yes. So, to the next DJ's Brew Tube, thanks man, to each and every one of you for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, smash that like button. Also, remember to think globally, drink locally, and support the craft beer and cocktail movement because that makes great things happen, like Cadillac margaritas. So, to the next DJ's Brew Tube, I got nothing but a big ass bunch of Cadillac margarita drinking love for you. And you know what's coming? Hell yes, a big ass. <laughs>